Oh, goodness grief. So I figure in order to be a better speaker, you have to do what? You have to keep speaking. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start that. So my question to you guys is, have you ever contemplated suicide? I don't want the answer. I don't want you to answer it. I just want you to think back to a time when life was hard or you were going through something and you actually contemplated suicide. So suicide is very, very high. It's, it's on the rise. Depression is on the rise. Suicide is on the rise. Sex everywhere. People are looking for a way out. And, um, you know, I want to talk about what I thought about suicide because, yes, I asked that question to you because I say, asked that same question to myself. And I've thought about suicide. Um, I was molested as a young girl. So according to statistics, 13% of us actually attempted and 33% of us, you know, just think about it. Well, I fall into both percentages. Just say that. So I'm going to begin this suicide with some stories, some ideas, some things that have happened. So one day I'm working in a salon, I'm a hairstylist. So I'm doing hair and I just love my clientele. I love being, you know, energetic with them. They come in, whatever. And I have this beautiful, beautiful person. And uh, she comes in, she gets her hair done every two weeks. And she's real laid back. You know, some people, they have, they're like me. They're like, what's up girl, how you doing? But when she comes in, she just says, hey, you know, she's all meek and everything, which is cool, you know, so you just all, I loved it. So after I finished her hair this day, it was kind of weird for me. Uh, she didn't seem the same. She didn't seem the same at all. And on the way out, she gave me a hug. But this hug was different. I could feel it different. Have you ever hugged somebody or you ever um, went somewhere you could feel something is wrong? Like you could feel it, but you don't necessarily know what's wrong. You don't know if something's wrong. You could just feel something, right? So anyway, I'm like, all right. So I, get, I lean in, you know, hug, big hug. Mm, I'm like, okay, wait a minute, this is different. It crossed my mind, but I'm like, you know, hey, whatever, no biggie. Well, the next day, I received a phone call from her sister. And uh, she had committed suicide. And at that moment, at that moment, I thought, oh my God, that hug meant goodbye. And I fell to my knees and I just started weeping and I was just so sad and I wanted to understand like, like, why didn't I notice that? I, I thought she was almost flirting with me. I'm like, okay then, maybe she got a little sugar, you know? But, uh, you know, I'm cool with that. But anyway, it wasn't, it wasn't that. She gave me a hug goodbye. And that was really, really a moment for me. Um, it was interesting. So, have you ever contemplated suicide? That's the question. The next story is about a woman, like me. Actually, this woman is me. How about that? <laughs> and uh, being that I'm a statistic, suicide, the idea of, of suicide is not really this, oh, Cyrus, move, because you just want to be on my cord, kicking my screen. Sorry, guys. Go on, lay down somewhere. So anyway, um, the story is about me. I was at home in uh, my bedroom and I'm chilling. My ex-boyfriend was there. We're all chilling in the house and, and walking around. And this was right after my grandmother had passed. And I'm thinking everything is you know, cool, calm, collective. But I really hadn't dealt with my grandmother passing. I didn't cry at her funeral. And I just accredited to, hey, she had died a whole lot of times because she was in the hospital over and over. You know, if, if you've ever dealt with an ill family member, it's over and over. It's, they go and then they, they're well and then they're ill again and then they're well. And it can be like such an emotionally draining experience. So I honestly was kind of happy for her when she passed. I felt like her suffering was over, you know. Uh, but I hadn't thought about myself, though. I'm like, how was I going to internalize this? How was I going to deal with it? 
And most people were asked, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm cool. I'm good. I look, again, I just accredited to the fact that she had been going through this so long that I was cool. But that didn't change the fact that one day I was just standing in my room and all of a sudden my childhood started to replay in my mind. Things that I didn't remember started to come back. And I don't know if you've been, if you've experienced some trauma, you know, you don't remember everything the way that it happens, but then sometimes that it creeps up on you. And I contribute that creeping up onto me. I tell, I tell people when I tell this story that my past came up and slapped me in my damn face. It just slapped the shit out of me. Bam. And all of a sudden I was fighting in an imaginary person trying to protect myself from somebody who was not there. And I'm doing this. And I'm like, no, no, but I'm trying to stay in reality. I'm like, okay, no, this isn't happening. What, what's going on? Why am I seeing this? Why? I mean, I'm literally moving my hands and, and fighting and, and I didn't know what to do. I'm like, why is this happening to me? And then I'm like, okay, so what do I do? I look around the room. I see a knife. I pick it up. I look at the knife. I just examine it. I look at the blades. The blades are serrated. I remember that. They're serrated. That means they have bevels in them. You know, it's not the kitchen knife with, uh, with that smooth. It's the kitchen knife that got the little humps in it like that, you know, like the little ends. And I look at it. It's pointed at the tip. And then I take it. I wonder how sharp it is at that moment. As everything is playing through my mind, all of a sudden, I was fascinated with this knife and how sharp it was. And then I took it to my arm and I sliced once. It's a sharp knife, but it didn't cut. It wasn't enough to take away the thoughts that were going through my mind. So I said, what do I do? Again, right? And again, and deeper, and again, and deeper. I cut myself five times. Two of those scars are still there. Uh, they were deep enough to remain. But at that moment, the knife wasn't working. And I was just bleeding. And then I looked. There was a gun. Have you contemplated suicide? What stops you? The gun was there. The knife was there. There were pills, there was everything. But life is a choice. Suicide is an option. And if we don't recognize that people really, like I think after that experience for me and after me making the choice not to pick up that gun and to stop cutting myself and to really dive deep into my spirit and figure out what it is that was gonna make my life better, and not anybody else's, because I looked through for through um I looked for answers through other people. My mom wanted to save me, and and she's like, "How could you do this? You got kids. My kids weren't enough. People commit suicide with kids. My kids weren't enough. Um, they uh, there were people like you. You got so much talent. You got you can do anything. That wasn't enough." Because until I recognize the value in me, what it takes to be you, you, want, you it, suicide is an option. It wasn't until I found the value in me. I learned that my past, the reason that I'm able to be as strong as I am today the re is because I went through those things and I decided that those things were going to create a future. I made a choice to live and I want other people to find that choice to live. And that's what, where Beautify began to, to come around in full circle. And, and you start to think about in life, like how could you give up something so precious? Or what is your thought process throughout thinking, do I want to kill myself? And what does that mean? Life is a choice. And if life truly is a choice, what life are you choosing to live? Choose a life that surrounds you. Choose a life 
that helps you smile rather than frown. Choose to live rather than die and look for those reasons every single day. Look for reasons to live. People can't give them to you. You have to find them. Be in active search for reasons to live. That is how you make the choice to live. You look at that gun and you decide that this right here, this heart, this body, this energy that I got is more important than the vessel that I'm carrying. The energy inside of me is more important than that because there are thousands and millions and tons of stories in the graveyard that are untold, but mine was not going to be one of them. My, my story is going to be a story that's told. My story is going to be a story that's going to help somebody. My story is going to be a story that helps somebody choose life and just recognize that suicide is an option. Just one of those options that you ain't taking. That's all. None of the above. What I would like to do, my purpose behind this speech is for people to recognize that when somebody is going through something and they're going through it and, and you have all of your reasons in your mind to help them live, really you should ask them to think about their own reasons. Why do you want to die? And what is it that can help you live? Because you're more powerful than you think. I learned that. Um, and uh, thanks guys. That's, that's it. That felt great. I hope you enjoy that. It feels so wonderful to speak to things that I'm passionate about. And uh, I'll be back with another one. I'm going to keep coming. I got all kinds of topics. I cannot wait to educate and inspire and motivate and help you learn what it takes to be you and choose to live and just make suicide that unchosen option. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel, thumbs up, and mm, 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 whatever that dance is called, dab, a butterfly. <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> All right, you guys have a great day. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a very, very tough topic, but if you know someone who has committed suicide or if you know someone who has contemplated suicide, Please share this video with them and talk to them and let them know that life is a choice and suicide is just an option and you do not have to choose that. You are worth so much more on this earth, but first it takes them to see that on the inside. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great evening.